Escape from Tarkov has just revealed its first major event of 0.14. It took them a few months, but they've finally added something fresh to the game in this wipe, and I'm going to cover everything about it in this video. Now just an FYI, I've already given up playing this event, now I played it a bit and I got the gist of it, but once you get cucked over by the Tarkovisms like the really aimbotty new AI, and of course the servers being filled with sus players, it sort of just gets annoying and repetitive, like always, but hey ho, I'm going to be covering it all nevertheless. So. The quick TLDR of this whole event is Snow is back and there is a brand new faction of enemy AI. These are called Followers of Morana or Spirits of Winter. And Winter is well and truly back. Snow is back, so if you really enjoyed Snow, great, you can enjoy it for a few more days. If you didn't enjoy it, then there's always games like Helldivers that you can play for a couple of days until this event is over as it's only an Easter event. The followers of Marana are located on most maps and they could be found around brand new bonfires that are randomly scattered around the map. You'll find three of them per map and these maps are Customs, Woods, Shoreline, Interchange Reserve, Lighthouse and Streets of Tarkov. You find these and you're going to want to take these guys out pretty quickly because although they're not using very good guns, they're using incredibly good ammo and they will take you out really quickly. And the bots, as I said in the intro, are quite aimbody. They got good ammo. Fucking aim body, look at that! The bonfires can actually be lit as well. If you can get within 20 meters of them and you have tracer ammunition, shoot four shots into the bonfire, which are these big wooden sticks sticking out the ground, and it will light the bonfire. Then it's sort of a wave-based combat situation where you've got to survive for about a minute and a half before you'll hear a chime, and that means you have completed this area. Once all three of the bonfires on the map are completed, a new boss will spawn on the map, but this boss is friendly and it's not recommended that you try and kill him. This is Zarachi, you know, the lighthouse lightkeeper bodyguard, and he will be in a different colour camo, and he acts much like Santa. So he'll come up to you and give you loads of gifts for completing this event. The boss's name is Liha. If you do decide to attack him, he has the same health as the aggressive Zarishi that was in the previous event, the Blue Flame event, and he is almost impossible to kill, as per this clip by Axel. All right, boys. Oh shit, bro, why is he on me? No, no, bro, how is he shooting so fast? There are also new quests related to this event, four to be exact, and they are all not required for Kappa because obviously they are just event quests. So the first one you will get is called Evil Spirits. You get this from Prapor, and the first thing you need to do is locate an effigy of Marana on any location, and then eliminate a follower of Marana. So just one of them, just take them out from a distance, and then just run up to the actual effigy, and as soon as you get close to it, it will complete the task. From here, this will unlock two further events, one called Granny's Tail, and that requires you to kill 50 of the followers of Marana over multiple raids, and the other one is called Spring Never Changes. This requires you to go up to the bonfires and light as many of them as possible. Now this is a community goal of one million bonfires. So as a community as a whole, if we all light one million bonfires by the end of the event, we will get this quest completed. And you can track this through an Escape from Tarkov website page, which I will link in the description if you're interested. Upon killing 50 of the followers of Marana and completing the Granny's Tale quest, you'll unlock another one called Fishing with Shishiga. 
This requires you to take part in one of the rituals on each of the maps available. So Streets of Tarkov, Interchange, Customs, Woods, Reserve, Lighthouse and Shoreline. And this requires going around finding the bonfire that's randomly generated and put on the map. You then need to kill all of the followers around it and sit by it for a minute and a half to take part in it and complete it. Once that's done, you will then unlock one final task and this is the fourth personal task and the fifth overall task and this is called spring and it requires you to eat a can of squash eliminate six spirits of winter in a single raid so that is the followers and then drink a bottle of moonshine and survive and extract from the same raid pretty difficult one to end but i don't think many people will get to it anyway as this event is only around for easter if you want a fun bit of lore behind this whole event as well basically in several eastern european countries it is tradition really to burn an effigy of marana to celebrate the end of winter as a whole, that's pretty much it for this event. It's quite fun. Snow is back. It creates cool firefights. You know, it's pretty chaotic around the bonfires. But as I say, the servers, from my experience in EU, are just filled with sus players. And the AI are pretty aimbotty as well. But other than that, it's a pretty fun event and a unique one as well. We have to do objective-based situations and stand near the objective, which they're probably trialing out for Arena or something like that. And they're using this as a testing environment. But to be fair, it's just good to see an event back in Tarkov. It's been a hell of a long time since we've had one. December, in fact, was the last time we had an event. And... Other than that, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. If this video was helpful at all, I know I don't make much on here anymore, but I thought I'd cover it as and when I see fit. And, you know, games are a thing for me. I just don't play them very often anymore because it's just not very fun for me at the minute. But if you want to see other things like photography, there's a second channel, which I'll link in the description if you want to give that a follow. We're well on our way to 500 subscribers on that, which I'm really happy about. But thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.